Um, for this assignment, we are going to be working on a wood cradle board, and it just looks something like this. I order these from Dick Blick or Cheap Joe's Art Supply online. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take just some white gesso, and I'm going to gesso the entire background. Okay, so when we come back, this piece will all be gessoed. I'm using um, white gesso and a credit card, so these are the two things I'll be using to uh, get my background done. So what I um, what we're doing for this lesson, what I have here is my my wood board with my gesso on it, and um, you might wonder why did I why do I put it on like that with the credit card? And I do that because it gives different texture in the background, um, and I just like that there's that texture there underneath. There's already layers. Some areas are thicker, some are not. Um, and I like the lines. I just like the way that uh, the texture it creates. So that's why I do it that way. Um, I have a pencil. I have a black Stabilo all marks. And then I've got my um, pencil sharpener and my little uh, tray here. Um, and then what I've done is I went through and I found an image I liked and then I sketched it out without a face, but just the, the pose that I wanted. And um, this is another way to get away from using a copyright image really is, you know, um, draw it, sketch it, and then put that other image away. And now this is all that I have to work with. So I'm not even looking at the other image. I can't see it. I just liked the pose and that was what I wanted to use. So I'm going to now use this sketch and I'm going to try and get it on here. I am standing, which is not the way that I like to draw, but um, for this uh, assignment right now, I wanna have it flat here for you. So I may, um, and I'm trying to think, you know, where do I wanna position her? Um, I've always been taught not to put an image right in the middle. You kind of want to put, for your composition, um, off to the side and then do something else in the background there. So I'm going to have her over here and I'm going to start with her head. I want to make sure I give enough space for the hair because you know I like to do big hair. And then also like for a wall. So I'm going to put her head off to the side a little bit. Okay, and I'm not drawing, don't draw the head too big because I wanna have plenty of space for the body and also for the, um, hands. And I'll, I'll work, I'll worry about perfecting, you know, the face later. And the angle of it. She's kind of going to be looking to the side. Um, and really before I get started, I am going to put this on an easel so I can uh, fix anything that might be off a little bit. A lot of times what I like to do is I will draw the body before the arms just to kind of get that 
She's kind of leaning back, but I'm not getting that from her right now. That's okay. I just kind of want you to get a feel for... I hope my head is not in the way. All right, and then we've got this sleeve in her arm. And with the hand, I kind of start by just shapes. So you can see it's got kind of, um, you know, a, it's the back side of the hand, but um, it's, uh, you know, kind of like, <laughs> it looks so weird. Anyway, um, okay, and then over here, um, And then I've got her arm coming down. And you know, you want these to be the same. All right, so that's kind of like the basic um, just kind of leaning on something here. Okay, and I'll worry about the details of the hand in a little bit when we get her on the easel. Now that I know where her position is going to be though, um, I'm going to take some collage papers and I, I bought this some really cool new ones here they just have some fun patterns some bricks some words some dots um so i'm going to go through and i'm going to decide on some papers to put in the background like i love how this says everybody has a story uh when i first started painting i used to always have some kind of a message in my images and and um they were really for women and inspiring, and I missed that component, and so I'm really wanting to get that kind of back in. Um, so anyway, I'm going to look for some papers that I want to use in my background. And then I will be, um, like I love this, 
There's another one. I love this. You could just cut out like a little piece of something. Um, I love this. This is my story in the typewriter. There was another one kind of like that that I really liked. I love how this says, you know, write your own story, enjoy your journey. And I think that that is the message I want to uh, really give to people too is, you know, your story is just as important as everybody else's. And so just be true to that and be true to your own story and everything else will follow. So I'm gonna spend some time pulling out some pages and um, work on getting some things on here. And then we will um, start painting and working on the background. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to glue these on. I'm using um, golden matte medium. It's very liquidy. And I'm just going to pour some on and spread it around. I used to not be so intentional about my collaging. I would just put papers on wherever. Um, but I have some ideas of what I want to do with these. So I'm being a little bit more intentional um, with these pieces. You want to be sure that uh, you have, it's a good idea actually to put it on the, the front and the back, or I'm sorry, the back of your paper, but also on um, Okay, and then to take your brayer or something and get it on there so that there aren't any bubbles. And then we have this piece here. also on the hands. Um, I'm going to take my drawing here that I had and just get the same And you know, hands can be quirky. They don't have to be um, exact. Like to me right now, these hands, the fingers are looking a little bit long, but that's okay. Makes them interesting. I'm trying to be, um, more gracious with myself. You know, I'm also learning the art of hands. And so in all of this, I want to get better. While I'm teaching you, I'm also um, trying to better myself. 
So. Some of these I'm not uh, going to give all of the details in. Take my stabilo all and just gonna kind of map in where things are gonna be. I don't have a, a you know really super defined face at the moment. But I will. Well, it, it's not going to be super defined because I'm not really going for that exact look. Um Uh, there's some things I'm going to try and make sure of, and that's that the corner of the eye is going to meet up with the, the nose here. And I am just going to play. Playing with the angle. I'm not looking at any um, picture right now. I'm just drawing and just kind of going with, you know, all that I've learned this last year. And um, kind of seeing what happens. When I say this last year, I mean really, you know, what I've kind of learned on this journey and let's face it, and practicing. Um, I have just 
just my my um, water here and a paintbrush and um, I always just have a towel on my lap and what I do is I just am going to come in and start adding water to her face and to do this I'm using a four filbert and um, if it gets sloppy it's okay not worried about that but just kind of trying to figure out what's going to be where, kind of darken stuff a little bit. This is like the um, underpainting. And don't worry about losing definition here because you can come back later and redefine. This is giving me a chance to kind of define where those hands are going to be. See, now already the hands look better to me. Um, I can make them, you know, a little bit bigger. Kind of make them come out further. The hands are going to be quirky. They just are. And that's okay. I have to, I'm going to accept it and I'm going to move on. Uh, I'm going to go back up to her face, just kind of move some of this around a little bit. I am going to bring in, um, make that darker. It is kind of fun if um, some of this drips a little, you know. That I'm okay with. All right, so now I've got kind of like my basic sketch. This is like my water sketch. I don't really know what's going to happen in the rest of the picture. Um, to me, I, I see her... Um, Uh, it's going to be like a brick wall, maybe some, I don't know, scratched in um, writing, thinking about maybe a little tattoo on her neck. I'm not really sure, but uh, what I am going to do now is I'm going to start taking some gesso and I'm going to start filling in um, her face. I'm going to start painting her now.